All right, welcome to Patrick's Pear Box, a game all about paradoxes, as you can see by the name. I've actually played a bit of this before, but I didn't get too far. Uh, I'm going to start a new file here, though, and go through levels and sort of show you how it all works. So as you jump into a level, we have place we need to finish here, but we also need to have all these blocks covered. So there we go. Not too bad. Same thing here. So it looks like we need to pull these out and put them on each spot. Boom. Done. Now, because it's against the wall, we have to find a way to get it out. So I believe we just go around here and then around here and then we're good to go. So it's giving you the basic mechanics and ideas uh, for how to beat the levels. Um, now we have a bit of an interesting situation where we go into a smaller level. And that's going to be a big part of the idea of the game. So as you can see, we, we can only go through the uh, area when it's against a wall like this. So we can escape without it needing to be against anything, obviously. Um, but we need to find ways to push this block around to get to our exit. It seems to be the common idea is just going all the way around each way and making our way into the level. It's going to be get, getting really, really difficult, I'm, I would imagine. I've, I've only seen a few levels. But so far, not too bad. Now we have a smaller block here inside, so we need to find a way to push this in. There we go. And we go in the other way and then escape. And there we go. We have a situation where the block needs to be outside, so gotta be in here and then push it back out and then we clear the level. I can only imagine how crazy this is gonna get. Looks like we've completed this entire area. So we move on. Probably brushing through all the very easy levels here because they're not that complicated. Uh, looks like a, like some, some sort of delivery system here where we bring this down. So not expanding too much on the previous concept where we go in and out of a block. But now we need to do a delivery system down there, I think. Looks like something like, something like this. Same idea, but also just bringing both blocks down instead of putting them together. And we need to enter this way. So I think we just do it like this. I'm trying to speed, th speed run through the easy levels. That way we can get through uh, some more difficult stuff. This needs to be inside one of these to cover that block. But then this one needs to... Whoops. How do I be undo? There we go. And that needs to be inside that one, and then we can complete it. So each block needs to be fulfilled. Okay, this one's against the wall. So I think I need to use this block to give a, a backing to place that, and then we can... Oh, oops, I do not want to do that. Yeah, so we just need to use that to be able to uh, like basically grab the, the block off the wall. Now we need a way to get this block down on this spot, but then also... So this needs to be against this wall. And then we push this in here and we need to basically navigate this in such a way that we can push it against the wall, but then also get it out of the room. So the game is slowly introducing stuff. It's not too bad. There's bonus levels, it looks like. All right, here we go. Deep into the matrix. So we're, we're going all the way in here just to grab this block. Okay, so as you can see, we are inside of the block we uh, are inside of, we are inside of, we are inside of. We can escape out this way, but that'll just bring us right back to this spot. And right now we're stuck against the wall, so I can escape at the bottom if it's open here. And then I can, I can do either way, because it's, it's both the same thing. I can come out this way, and then we just finish the level. Alright, we can come at the bottom to push the block up. And we need to find a way to push it back down. So I believe we just come in this way. Push it down. And there we go. We have a block that needs to be in the bottom left side. So if we push this down, then it should just be able to escape to the far side. I like these like referential uh, puzzles where you sort of always stay in the same size block. But things are, you're, you're leaving the area you're in to become the new uh, blob. Yes. Okay. 
Yes, we need to get we need to find a way to get back this this thing back down. I think we do this. We come up here and then bring it back around. Perfect. I'm hoping I'm hoping this all makes sense so far. I'm doing all of the uh, basic levels for now. We can come back and do challenge levels in the future. We got empty now. So this is an empty block. But I basically just need to navigate around until I can get that up there. I think what we need to do is put this in here, bring this up. So we can push this against the wall, but then still be able to escape the block beyond the back border. Okay. I think I need to get the blue block to go inside of the orange block. There we go. So what is the difficulty here? I see. So I want to do this up here. So because it's an empty, the block will actually go into it instead. So I think what we do is we go up here. Go in. Back out. Oh, that block needs to be there. Never mind. I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't see the two, the two blocks. Reset. There we go. I think what we, all we do is basically the same thing that I just did, but down here. If I knew there was two blocks, I should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> Pretty obvious. Okay, so we move down here. What's the rest of the level look like? Okay. Well, that's good to know. I'm going to push this one out. This one out. Let's do... It doesn't really matter which way we go. Oh, I didn't push this one out. What, what am I doing? I thought I pushed this one out. Am I crazy? All the way up. Easy peasy. So we have a block. This block, one of these needs to be up here and it needs to be this one so we can enter. And then I think we push this in. We push this in. We go against this surface, oops. I'm using the analog stick and it's being a it's it's being a little difficult to work with. Okay, I need to push this in place first. And then I just need to place this block. And I think we've done it. Six out of seven. Let's do the final normal level here. So we are inside the block we are inside of. So I can escape this piece by doing that. And I think it's trying to tell me that I need to basically I can push this out just by doing this. I could have also escaped. There we go. Not too bad. So we can expand upon those concepts later on the levels. We got eat now. This is one of those situations where the, because the block is behind it, it will eat it. Yeah, okay. So similar idea here. We need to eat each block. We got to be careful with how we do this though. I think we can do a double layer. That way it stays off the wall. And then we could use this one to go either way. I think we can do this too. Yeah. Now I think all I need to do is just go against the wall and I can go above both. Yeah, not too bad. A quadruple eat. The thing about this is that there's there's too many uh, blocks to be able to do it all in one. Because the room is only five by five. We should gotta do like a bit of a setup to move the block back. Okay. So it looks like I just need the block at the bottom to be in there. But the thing about that is that the block can't get to this very bottom right spot to push it out unless I push it in from the one side. So I think I do something. Uh, I could I could get it in there. But I need I need it to be I can't get the, the empty off the wall if I do it like that. You see the issue here is if you go down here, you can no longer get this block here. We just need to find a way to get the block there. Resetting. I don't think there's any way to get the this off the wall if we go this way. Oh, I'm so dumb. Yeah, this is obvious. I don't know why I was so confused. It's the same idea. You gotta eat the block off the wall. Sometimes I forget that the, the block will actually go in when you do the, the eat. The eat is probably the most confusing thing so far. So we need to find a way to get this block off the wall. Isn't it just like this? Uh, it doesn't seem very... 
Like, I'm like trying to overthink it. <laughs> like, why does this seem so easy? So now I think it's the other way that I was thinking of. This is what I was thinking the level was trying to make me do before, but I guess they were introducing the concept one at a time. Some, 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 some levels feel like a little redundant in a way. Okay, so we need this level to be at the very top. So we need each of these to go in, in order. I think like this, and then we just eat all of them. And then I go in and I enter. Is this not just, oh, I see. Okay, so the idea is here that I can't, I can't, and I can't uh, push the yellow block into the green down here without first eating the block and then bring it down because there's not enough room for me to work with. There we go. So we need a gap. So I need to put one in first. Something like this. Eat it, move over, boom. And there we go, next level. We got reference. Okay. So we need the, the actual level we're in to be inside of this guy. The question is where do we do that? I think we just come out like this. Doesn't really matter where we do it. Hopefully that wasn't confusing. I went into the level to push it into the green and then came out of the level in a different way. This is gonna be our transport, it looks like. We need to get this into a spot where we can use it. We can enter this way to bring the level back out. <laughs> oh man, it's getting weird. Looks like we can enter the level here. I'm not quite sure why we would need to do this yet. Okay, I see why we need to do it. There we go. Okay, so we can't escape the purple. Okay, so I imagine the purple is probably at the very end. It is. So if we go like this, we can escape the blue. But we need the yellow to be... Okay, I see. We need to finish there, though. Okay, so we need to finish. We need to finish in that room down there. Which one do we need to end in? We need to end he here. Do I go this way? Do I start in the room that? I need to figure out which way I need to go. I think it's like this. Yeah, that's. Hard to wrap your head around, but basically just need to be able to finish in the room that has the, the finish piece. Okay, I needed to grab this first, I think. Let me reset. Why? Oh, I see. Can I get this block out of here? I need to put the block in this thing. I think I needed to go in there and then put it in like here. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yep, my frame of reference is broken. Let's move on. Swap. So we're in that level over there. Nice. Okay, that doesn't work. Looks like we have a spot here to place this. And then we can place this level within itself. to swap the positions. Same thing here, we're in this level and we need to be inside the green. I need to I need to get this up here. How do I get this off the wall? I don't think I wanna do this because then I get stuck on the wall. Look at that. Oh, I just need to move this up. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it just takes a second to like really understand what is going on. <laughs> it's it is something do I want to do this yet no I don't want to do that yet I didn't mean to reset the whole level oh my goodness I need to get in here and then put this back inside here okay 
But... No, I didn't mean to reset again. I hit the wrong button every time. Okay. I need to do it in such a way that it doesn't get stuck. The reason why I reset there is because I would have pushed the block into the wall. I need this to be, like, up here. There we go. Now I have more room. Because when I would come out like here like this, it was against the floor. Something like this. The room was designed very carefully to give me room to do that. That was it. All right, center. Okay, I think the idea here is that when you leave the room and then put it back in, it goes through the center of the area. So I can push this one directly in. But I can't get this off the wall unless I go in. Ooh. Yeah, that's really weird. It makes sense, though. This goes in the center. But then it's stuck. It's one of those levels that, like, when you look at it, it feels impossible. <laughs> it's, but it's not, because you have to go in here, push this against here, and then push this out, and then back in, and then out this way. Has the game messed with you enough yet? A similar concept here. We can get the block out by maneuvering it around the center. It's so strange because, like, looking at the level, it's like, how do you move it off the wall? But using the center point is very important. And it probably will be for the re remainder of the puzzles. The so same thing here. If I push this out and then push it back in, it'll be here instead. Same thing here. We push it up and back down and then across. I do like the pace at which they introduce things. Now, I can't enter. I can't enter here right now. Because it's in the way. So, if I was to go here and go right here, it would block me. So, I think what it's trying to show me is that I can go in this way. Do I want to move it off to the side like that? I guess we do because that's all that matters. Because the other block is being covered right here. So, now I can enter and move around. So, the orange block wasn't really necessary to beat the level. Other than to move it to get you in there. Now, the only way I can enter is through the center, I believe. Yeah. So the idea here is it's showing that I can only enter here. Now I can only enter through the bottom. I can only enter to, through... Uh, I think I just... Yeah, just do this, right? Like, I'm... It's just trying to show you that you can't enter through the other sides. Now what's going on here? Clone. Okay, so if you go through the clone, it goes to the, the actual level. So the brighter version is the clone. Cool. Okay, so we have a clone level. I think I straight up just do this. It'll go over there. Neat. We can use the clone to go into a certain spot. So, for example, I can't get in there right now, but I could use the clone to appear over on this side. Use the clone to appear over here, and then push it over up into the into the level. Did not mean to go in, but that's okay. Okay, once again, we have a clone level. So, I can eat it on this side, enter through, escape the block, and beat the level. We need to get this block... Do we need the block out? No. We need to get the block in the in the area. Now we gotta remember the the clone the block can only go through the clone like only go through the real one. As you can see, you can't push it out this way. Because the clone is not the real one that you go into. You always go into this one. How do we use this utilize this one? I see. I think that's what we need to do is go in here. Go into the clone. I don't know if it matters where we go. I see. So I didn't mess it up. I was a little bit worried where, where I need to place this block. I almost put it against the ceiling, which I'm glad I didn't. But that'll push it there. We come at the real one, but this is going to put us back through that spot. It, is it really that easy? What was the point of that level? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Some levels like feel like it's basically teaching, teaching the exact same thing. We need the clone level to be here here but this level needs to be here for now so i can go in here and then back up and then back down so placement mattered there you can't have the clone in the opposite spot because you need to be able to actually escape the real one we're in the real one which is up here now what happens when you pop the clone out of the real one it just pops out okay 
we need this blue block and we can get into the level like this and I think that's all we need to do to push this out and down two clones huh what happens if a clone goes into a clone okay it pops into the real level was that always in the bottom corner it was so I think it was trying to show the eat concept here What are we trying to do? Are we just trying to get into the level? We're just trying to do this. So if I eat this in the clone, it comes out that way. I think I was always trying to show. Was putting a clone through or putting any block through it will pop into the the real spot. Look at that. I knew it. <laughs> I was like, I can see a paradox here. So putting the level through itself, that's when you get that issue. You can see it goes into infinity. But if you go through the level through itself, It'll pop through itself. Infinitely. We just need to find a way to get the uh, clone block into the other side. So we need to do the opposite. But we need both. I need the level itself. I don't think it's going to be possible. Unless I go through this way. Am I able to get that out of out of here? I don't think so. How do we get the level over here? Do I need the clone down here? Like this, right? Oh, what the heck is going on? <laughs> oh, no. Man. Okay, this level's got me a little bit. It's not that difficult, it looks like. But I should get the right order of things. If I go in here, I will go over there. So this will always bring this level over there. But I feel like I need to transport it the other way around. Do I have it on the wrong side, though? What the heck? Let's go this way. There we go. I think I can get this, this block back. If I bring it down here. And then I go in the real level. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, it's still not off the wall, though. No, I need to go the other way. Oh, no. I need to get in that way. How do I get... Oh, right here. <laughs> and then eat this? No. One eternity later. Okay, I keep getting the uh, clone into the other side first. And I got this side over here at some point. I think that's all I needed to do was do it the opposite way. But for some reason, my brain was sitting there for so long, unable to figure out how to get both pieces over. One of the most frustrating puzzles so far. <laughs> I just kept putting the same one in the other way. All right, the next puzzle. We got two activated squares here. So there's actually three squares. So I think the idea here is to like somehow use the fact that there are... Um, let's see, we can't, we can't do anything about that. So we need to go the other way and push these in. Then we just basically need to create a gap of some sort. Now... How do we want to do that? Because I, th I think the clone... It's supposed to be used to somehow space them out. If we just keep pushing these across, I think at some point these are going to like pop out in a different way and we can sort of pop these out individually. It's so bizarre. Like it makes sense, but at the same time it's like so confusing to like wrap your head around. I just went in this level. Oops. So I would imagine there's nothing to do out here. So we have to bring this in here. I got a clone. Okay, the clone is going to pop us out of this way. Which... I, did we just win? Oh, no, 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 no. That's the clone. We need to swap the clone with the with itself. We need to use this, I think. This block. I think we need to do that. Pop this clone outside of itself. And then swap itself with the clone. So it can be... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what it wants us to do. Now it's the real level inside of itself. And there is no clone. <laughs> the clone does not exist. Okay. So. I don't see the issue. What am I missing? Because I feel like... Isn't it just this? Oh, we're in space. We're in infinite void. Okay. So I believe that that means we need to do this. Bring this around and use this block to be able to push it in. Yeah, I did not realize we were in void. That makes a lot more sense. There we go. 
We got a clone level at the bottom. This is all infinite voids. We need to find a way to collect these off of the wall. Now it looks like, looks like we have to find a way to bring these using the clone. Oops. Using the center rule that we learned, we can go into this from the clone over here. Wild. Transfer. I see. So we can enter the center of a smaller area if we are the same size. I think we need to go inside of this. But down here. Against a wall. And now we can go in. Same idea here. We need to go into one. Out of another. We need to do that down there though. Pop this out. Back into the center. Up into the middle part. Down into the, into the goal. Oh no. Looks like same idea. But we need to have two blockers. Okay one sec. We need to do this first. I think this is all it wanted me to do. My goodness. Some of the levels are very, very intuitive. Other ones are a little bit confusing. We have a non-center middle here. We need to end here too. I see what it's trying to make me do here. It's trying to make me like get in here and then come back to the other side and push it out. I think something like this. And push this off the wall. Yeah. So, we can only enter the middle of these two sides, but we need to use both to get their blocks in. So, is it something like, like this first? Push that one in. So, the first one uh, was important to do the other side first because once it's against the wall, we can't push it out. But we are inside this level. So, if we pop this out, we'll go into infinite void. We need to do this side first with the block. Push that in. Then we need to bring this down here and finish the level. That's a clone of the level we're in. So that's how we're going to enter the end. If we pop this into itself. Oops. The pop it to the top. All we need to do is get to the end. We want to do that. We need to be smaller. We're nearing an infinite paradox. That's kind of what we want to do, though. No, we don't want to do that. I think I might get it. <laughs> I think I see this situation, but over here, right? And then I can go in here. Man, that is, that is wild. <laughs> oh, it's getting real weird. Okay, we have a clone that we could create this sort of concept up here. And I think that's all we need to do, right? Just enter this. But against the other wall. Okay, we're all clones of each other. So if I go this way, I'm always going to end up moving between them. Something like this down here. Okay, how do we get this in there? Because if I do that, it's stuck forever. It must be pushing it through this way. And then we go back this way. It's really easy in this game to get tunnel vision on something you want to do, and then you forget that there's like so many other opportunities. I think I go through this way the real way, and then push it down. Ah, this is... <laughs> What even is out, out here? A okay, one empty. And an empty with a big block. Now th oh, this is a three by three. We've escaped the block into this section over here. Is that all we want to do? Just kind of navigate this around? I think that's what it's trying to make me do. Oh yeah, whoops. Center point. 
Okay, I think we just need to be small enough to be able to get in here. That isn't gonna work. We don't want to eat the level. We need to be that small, but then we need to do all of this on the other wall. Does not work. That's what I want to do. It needs to be on the left side. Just need to think about how. It needs to be on the left side. Just need to think about how. Oh! The bottom! I need to be able to enter this block that way. Gosh, man. I should have realized that the second that I was on the bottom quarter, or bottom third. These are off-center, but I can enter one way and not the other way. What the heck is going on? And those go into that section, up here. When I push them back in, what happens? We have one more block to push through here. So we need to do something like this. But I can't get back through that way. Yeah, that is useless. So how do I get a block out that way? Is that why they give me three? Right, that is why they give me three, so I can escape this way with this block. Alright, not too bad. Should have realized when they gave you that many blocks just sitting there, I needed to utilize them all. There's not too many red herrings in this game. Okay, the open side is no longer open if... It is here. Just need to close off the open side. Same thing here, but we need to be a level smaller. There we go. We got a green empty with a wall on the bottom part. Which I think is going to be the way that we... create a small enough room. Can I do it like this? That was this originally. Okay, this was not on the wall like that. I shouldn't probably do that. Okay, this looks like infinite... Infinite escape. But oh, we need to go back in the orange. There we go. Very interesting levels. Flip. Okay, so we're going to enter the right side. So each one of these is flipped when we go in and out. But you know what? We've been at this for quite a while. I'm thinking I'm going to do another episode of this. I definitely want to do more uh, levels and then also do more challenge levels in the future. If you guys like that, let me know. If not, then maybe we'll just stop here. But whatever you guys want to watch. Let me know also what games you guys want to see in the future. Because I've been kind of just doing whatever I want to. But if you guys want to see something specific, I've, I've definitely seen some comments. But I haven't really been too interested in some games. Um, there's also some new games that I was looking at. But yeah, let me know in the future. But until next time, have a great day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. That's so fun.